Okay, one example of friction comes from the um, sport of curling. Curling um, is an Olympic event in the Winter Olympics. Um, and so you're going to review a, a video on curling from the NBC Learn, but you need to link to it from YouTube, and I have the link in the um, Linear Kinetics lecture. And so we're going to look at um, why do we use this for friction? It's because you're basically hurling a rock down an ice surface, so ice, low friction, but you want to optimize or figure out how to manipulate that friction. So you need to understand what, what features of the sport affect the friction. And so I have three questions for you. Why is the surface, the ice surface that is, pebbled? It almost looks like an orange peel. Why do they sweep? And does the size of the stone affect friction? And so um, I direct you to this YouTube video. But just to kind of explain it, let's see if we can get the YouTube video up. A meltwater layer that reduces friction creates a literal path of least resistance so for the are, stone to glide sweeping. on more easily. Friction is reduced even further by another characteristic of curling ice, bumps. All the other ice sports have a smooth Zamboni surface effectively, and uh, curling uh, requires that the uh, surface of the ice be roughened. Spraying water does the trick. So this and is how they make this on ice, ice peel surface, which forms it, at nice first seems very counterintuitive, right? To have a bumpy surface. It seems that that would increase friction. But what it does is it decreases the surface area between the stone that you're throwing and the ice. So it's like it's sitting on little um, pillars of ice. So if you decrease the surface area, you will actually decrease friction as well. And then why do they sweep? Um, they're actually kind of creating a little flow zone or liquid layer. And so with those minimal bumps, and they, uh, if they create an ice melt, that is a path of um, lower friction. And then finally, the size of the stone does affect friction. If you increase the weight of the stone, it would increase friction between the two surfaces. So that's why the stone is very, very controlled. I believe it's 40, 42 kilograms. No, that seems really, maybe 42 pounds. Um, and it's only from one, it's granite, and it's only from one area of the world. Um, and so listen to that video, and you can get a little bit more information. So three features to decrease friction in curling.